A comment from a Martin County School Board member tonight regarding watching movies in class before Thanksgiving break sparked outrage online. Again, this happening, the comment itself, some days ago. Many of you reached out to us about the post in the Stuart Moms Facebook group and took it to be a slap at teachers. WPTV education reporter Stephanie Suskind spoke to parents about the message and the board member who wrote it. As moms, you know, the last couple days of school before a break, would it bother you if your kids were watching a movie in class? No. 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 I spoke to three Martin County moms about this now deleted post in the almost 20,000 strong Stuart Moms Facebook group. School board member Krisha Lee Roberts asked, if your child's class watched a movie for entertainment this week, please comment with school and grade level, teacher name not necessary. It read to me very much, and I think every other person, that teachers were going to get in trouble or principals were going to get in trouble if teachers showed movies. Mama Bears came out in full force, hundreds of comments defending teachers and questioning the intent of the board members' words. Very much a big brother, brother is watching you and uh, we, don't have, we don't trust our teachers to do what's best for the students. The topic of watching movies on TV in class first came up during last Tuesday's school board meeting. Board members were talking about two hurricane makeup days just before winter break starts. Some of the emails that I've gotten have said things like, um, they're just going to come in and watch movies. And so why are they coming to school if they're just going to watch movies? In response to her post, Roberts praised the district's educators and told me, quote, at no point was it my intent to offend or create upset feelings amongst our teachers or supportive community. I humbly ask for forgiveness from all who are offended or troubled by my post. And I have done mental gymnastics trying to figure out how else it could have been read and I do not see a way that that post could be taken as supportive to teachers. These moms hope in the end, this is a lesson on communication. If you want people to take your message a certain way, then don't leave anything for interpretation. And above all, love for those in the classroom. What I take out, took from this post mostly is the support that our teachers have, or our community has for our teachers. Stephanie Suskind, WPTV News Channel 5.